It's a common belief that science is an inquiry-based field, only to provide solid justification for why things occur. Even though it may appear paradoxical, scientists too have their own hazy organizational systems and obscure philosophical tenets. Time is another concept that appears evident in science but may not actually exist. This is unveiled, and now we're delving deeper into the true cause of the non-existence of time. Do you require answers to the important queries? Are you a fervent inquirer? So why not join Z to see more videos like this one? And ring the bell for more inspiring material. The concept of time continues to be hotly contested even after centuries. Although many different parts of it are investigated, the most crucial question of all, does time actually exist, remains unanswered. Isaac Newton believed that time operated independently of everything else, as if the cosmos contained a background universal clock. But Albert Einstein's demonstration that time and space are genuinely intertwined, and space-time, cast doubt on that somewhat hazy notion. Further, Einstein demonstrated that the observer's perspective on time causes it to behave differently. In other words, it all depends on how you look at it. Many scientists still agree with Einstein's opinion that the boundary between past, now, and future is just a stubbornly maintained illusion. However, the concept of time itself and our understanding of existence both complicate the question of whether time exists. Consider any typical item you come across every day, such as a car, hat, chair, or house. Exist these things in reality? Given that we frequently observe them, it could seem evident that they do. But this is countered by the fact that none of the scientific hypotheses incorporate them, themselves. There are no laws that precisely state how a home or chair works. And when we magnify any of these items to their tiniest size, we can see that they are merely collections of atoms. We have objects because the atoms exist in a certain way. However, rather than being a cause of reality, objects themselves are more a result of it. However, the majority of people, including scientists, are aware that things like hats exist because they can be explained away by the laws of the universe. Atoms can bind together to make an automobile, according to researchers. They can fundamentally explain how an automobile is created from random particles. Why things are the way they are can be explained. But the actual issue with time is this. Nobody knows how it came to be in the first place. There isn't a known law, equation, or theory that describes time. It doesn't have a cause or outcome, it just seems to be. The majority of otherworldly phenomena can be described by genuine occurrences or things we observe in our reality. Consider mass. For some time, physicists had difficulty understanding how mass could exist in the real world. Most believed that particles were massless during the Big Bang. So how did anything, anything, with no mass ever come to possess it? A certain Peter Higgs and his associates, who created the Higgs boson particle, proposed the solution to this question back in 1964. In essence, massless particles might interact and develop mass via the Higgs mechanism involving the boson and something called the Higgs field. And this was later proven, though not until 2012 at the Large Hadron Collider, in a groundbreaking experiment. The riddle of mass has therefore been cleared up. Because mass has a corresponding particle in the real world that explains how it forms out of nothing, scientists are confident that mass is a real phenomenon. The problem is that time doesn't have a Higgs boson equivalent. No time particle exists. But at least we don't know nothing at all. It is comprehensible why time sometimes appears to advance exclusively forward, a phenomenon known as the arrow of time. The entropy hypothesis is crucial because it demonstrates how all stuff moves in the same direction, away from order and toward chaos. In general, this explains why existence isn't just a static, stagnant snapshot of fundamental nothingness and why things are even able to change at all. 
That said, there is still nothing that researchers can observe or discover that adequately explains how time is able to exist. What source does it have? In the end, despite it looking like a natural aspect of the world, there isn't actually any evidence that it exists. Because of this, many physicists severely doubt whether time really exists as a real reality. There is no analog in the real world to validate it. Therefore, if something may just be there, it can also not be there just as quickly. But lastly, it's possible that the pursuit of that other, all-encompassing ideal of contemporary science, a theory of everything, is likewise connected to the nature of time. Most of the forces in the cosmos can already be combined into a potential theory. The weak and strong nuclear forces as well as electromagnetic are among these forces, but time itself is hardly ever mentioned. Naturally, gravity is infamously the other element that has been left out of all TOE theories up to this point, although scientists are aware that this force is necessary for a true theory of everything to function. General relativity and quantum physics must be coupled in order to create such an entity. The very large and very small worlds. So a quantum gravity theory is what physicists are looking for. The loop quantum gravity theory, which contends that our world is actually made of microscopic loops of space-time, is the most prominent theory to date. Time itself doesn't actually play a role in loop quantum gravity, which is unusual. In actuality, this is becoming less unusual. Candidates for the theory of everything frequently fail to mention time as a relevant consideration. Time may still exist, although theories of quantum gravity and all other branches of physics do not now permit it. And as a result, those concepts will never result in an all-encompassing theory. On the other hand, and with all of humankind's scientific knowledge and history behind us, could it be more simply put, there isn't enough time. The Order of Time, a book by theoretical physicist Carlo Rovelli, addresses the idea. In it, he also makes the case that time is a fabrication, not basic, and that the arrow of time is essentially just entropy operating as it normally would. What are your thoughts on this bizarre possibility? You've been watching this video for a few minutes, are you sure? Has it really been a while since you first hit play at that moment in the past? Or is everything there only a fabrication? A hoax intended to deceive everyone? Time is something that we struggle to see as real sense, despite being measured, it could alternatively be merely a construct of our minds. The focus on time is quite prominent in Einstein's theory of relativity. For starters, it depicts the block universe, also known as eternalism, which is a four-dimensional framework in which time essentially behaves like space. There is no separation since it exists simultaneously everywhere. Theoretical physicist Max Tegmark has previously stated that if the cosmos truly functions as Einstein has described it to, then change is also nothing more than an illusion. Because there is no way to discern between ideas like the past, present, and future. Instead of being at different moments, they are all present at the same time. Following this, some speculate that, rather than time as we typically understand it, causation may be the more important feature of the cosmos. What best describes how reality works is the passing of events. Since we are unable to fully comprehend such a vast cosmos at once, we may have created the concept of time in an effort to make sense of it. The concept is that if we could see the cosmos for what it truly is, time would not really exist in it. If your mind is racing, you are not alone. Even at the highest levels of scientific inquiry, the topic of time remains unresolved. The possibility that it is all an illusion or a creation is growing, though, as there are no particles of time to rely on, nothing else in our physical reality to support how it came to be, and the knowledge that time, if it even exists, is malleable and not constant, depending on other factors like speed and gravity. And that is the actual cause of time's non-existence. How do you feel? Do you think we missed anything? Please share your thoughts in the comments, watch these additional unveiled videos, and subscribe to receive notifications of our newest posts.